So this is what we're starting with. It's a roller cutter. I believe it's for fabric. Got this at the dollar store for probably a dollar fifty. So we start with that. Then we just turn it around and expose this holding nut right here, which holds the tension on the tool, which is used for the roller cutter. And we're going to take that apart. Okay. And you'll see the ridges on there. Or like for anything you see on a uh, Zimmerit tool, they used to come in um, Lion Roar, I believe it was. Used to have a metal tool. I've, I've tried to buy one online. They're just not available. So we start with that wheel. And then we're going to start with uh, a tool you're familiar with that you can now use to make what I think is, it's my opinion, a better Zimmerit tool because you'll now have um, a wheel that has the correct impressions, I think, and is now metal. So, we're going to put this, um, the side up that will allow the disc inside there. You can see that okay. And just put the disc in there and engage. And you have a roller. Now, I haven't engaged it all the way into the hole, but it will be nice and secure as you see the other one I have here. You can pull on it. It's not gonna it's not gonna go anywhere. It's nice and secure. I did grind the one side trying to make it more narrow. I wasn't able to do it. <clears throat> so that's why you see it rough on that side. So it was an attempt that wasn't necessary that I did anyway. So that's that part of it. Okay, so you've seen me do several videos on Zimmerit, and I've got kind of in the weeds on it. But with this discovery, being able to use a metal wheel, for me, it, it's not so much that that it's it's the impressions or anything like that. I think a couple of tools that I have are just fine. For me, it's the cleanup. The metal wheel allows for a vigorous cleanup of the grooves to get everything out of there. Some of the other choices, I, I think, for my cleanup experiences are just, they're, they're too finite. And if you, you're using epoxy putty, you may be using something else. But for the epoxy putty that I'm used to, the Tamiya, uh, the quick type, I, I don't want to get away from that. That's what I like, it's what I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to choose a tool that works best with that. So I think you, using, I think it's a trumpeter tool, the, the red one, I can't be sure. I'm not here to sell tools, so I'm not sure sometimes of the companies. I, I'm i looking for something that is a quick cleanup and a efficient cleanup that will get everything. So that that's why I'm looking for this thing to use that uh, the red tool. Let's just call it that. And switching out the plastic wheel, which gets all the epoxy putty in there. It's hard to clean out. <clears throat> and putting the metal wheel on there, and it's been successful. And I, I, I did a test run, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So that, that's the only reason I'm doing just one more video on Zimmerit. That's my intention anyway. Um, so we'll go from there, and you tell me what you think. Okay, so this was uh, the test run. The piece I did with the, the, the tool I came up with, with the, the, the metal head with the, the steel grooves. And I, I think it works really good. I mean, I, I think the work... Speaks for itself. I mean, I think that that's very good. I did a split uh, test so you can kind of see it. And remember, this is something I just came out of my head. This is a, a roller cutter again that I said earlier in the video that uh, I think cuts fabric. And the nut on the back made me see, oh my gosh, that's something you could use for Zimmerit. So it, my head went to this. And I think it's working really well. I'm not going to put this one away and I'm not going to get rid of this, but I, I think this is a, a better way for me to go anyway, and maybe you, you'll feel the same. But the, the Lion Roar wheels um, that used to be in the market, unless you see them on eBay, 
Um, did someone sell them out of the private collection? I, I don't believe you can get them anywhere. And maybe I'll get some messages that, yes, you can. Here it is. But uh, I, I don't believe you can. Uh, another model much more successful than me. <laughs> um, you'd know him. He's from Slovakia. Uh, did the same search on his computer. Couldn't find him. And came up with something different. So anyway, I, I think it's a good way to go. And um, if you feel the same, it's a simple surgery. And um, it, it does require it, you to, to get the set of these, which uh, aren't running very cheap anymore. They're getting up in price. <clears throat> so give it a try and uh, see how you like it. I think that the results came out very good.